Hello, welcome to Ollie's Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace this critical gasket on your truck. I've gone to many car shows and also to friends' houses, and all of their cabriolets or rather convertibles seem to be missing this gasket right here around the trunk lock. Some of you might think, oh, it doesn't matter. It's on a vertical portion of the car. That's false. Without this gasket, water will sneak in and it can cause your trunk to rust out over time. As you can see here, mine's starting a little bit, but a lot of vehicles are actually a lot worse than what I have here. And this gasket, is one important step to preventing that from getting worse or even occurring. The tools and parts required for this repair are listed right here. As always, links and part numbers are in the description below. Here's a better view. You can actually see there's a decent amount of gap right here between this locking mechanism and the trunk. And if the gap is pretty even all around, then you actually don't have to do anything. You can just take this gasket, you grease it up. Again, I'm using my favorite dielectric silicone grease here. Just grease the gasket up really nicely. And you've got this gap right here, and that's where the trunk metal is going to slide. So just take it, slide it into there like that, and just do that all around. It takes a little bit of effort, but it usually works pretty well, and it's only about two to three minutes. All right, I've got it almost done. If you have it all but a very small corner, you can grab a screwdriver and kind of help it to get inside and over this lip. Don't scratch your trunk because otherwise you're just gonna make more areas where it can start to rust. Take your time. All right, there we are, it is now installed. If your trunk lock is not centered in the trunk very well, or you don't want to risk scratching the paint with the screwdriver, there's a second way to do this, which is technically the more proper way. I'll show you how to do that now. Open your trunk. With your trunk open, we now need to remove this cover right here, and it's held on by these six little plastic clips. As you can see, one of mine is missing. Grab yourself a sharp object. I'm using a knife. Carefully pry up on this plastic, and then you can use a screwdriver to get underneath and carefully pry it out. Do the same on all of them. You will most likely end up breaking one in the process. Um, that's just kind of the unfortunate truth of 30-year-old plastic at this point. With this removed, you can now see these two screws right here. Just take a Phillips and undo those. And now my lock is out. Lubricate your gasket with some dielectric grease and then slide this groove of the gasket around this metal right here, just like this. Open up the trunk again, take your lock, spin it around and carefully slide it into place. Reinstall these Phillips screws. Make it hand tight. Grab this cover with these plastic clips in it and snap them back into place. Little pro tip for the end for those who are still watching. Normally there are rubber grommets right here and also right here on the other side. I recommend removing these. If any water does sneak by the gasket, it'll run into here and it'll just sit down here because this rubber grommet covers this hole. But if you remove this grommet, then it can always run out. And no, it will not run into your trunk because the trunk gasket seals right here. So this will just run out outside of the vehicle then. And I think removing these can also help prevent some of the rust through issues that you see with these trunks. Thanks for watching another episode of Ollie's Garage. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more.